James O'Loughlin. Tonight, a special episode of The New Inventors. In fact, it's all about you. They're going to use PowerPoint. Beauty. Please welcome them, Kitty Flanagan and Marty Swimzer. I was in a cafe with my daughter the other day and the guy comes up and says, oh, do you mind signing the wall? We ask people like you to sign the wall and the special signing the wall pen and he led me over and all these signatures on, sign my name and he just stared really hard at my signature and then goes, mate, who are you? <laughs> Went to uni for five years, did law, studied very hard in the second half of November of each of those years. <laughs> We bought this new fridge, right? And uh, the guy said, you should buy this one if you use, um, it, it's got this new thing, if you leave the door open, it beeps. And I said, well, well, it's so clever, why doesn't it shut? Well, our year was the first year they were going to go co-ed, my kindy year. And so the whole school was female, except the idea was as our year made its way up to year 12, by the time that happened, the whole school would be co-ed, right? Which is fine, a good principle, but the only thing is no one told us boys in kindy. And all we saw was that everyone older than us was a girl. And we just thought at the end of kindy, something dreadful was going to happen. <laughs> I remember saying to my friend Jonas, how are you feeling about becoming a girl? He was like, well, I don't really think I've lived life properly as a man yet. <laughs> Let's begin with this question. What would Australia look like if private schools were abolished? Look, they're talking about abolishing something you've spent your life working for. Could that be a better world or, or tell me why it won't be? It's not only choice for all, is it? I mean, if, if you have a limited income, say you're a, I don't know, a school teacher, <laughs> then <laughs> there is no. <laughs> is there a choice? It's a complete waste of money. It's a complete waste of the parents' money who are silly enough to pay those fees. But, but you're more concerned that you think it's a complete waste of the Public taxpayers' money. money. Well, all right. It's inflationary. Well, it drives it up. David, I mean, you're sitting there very calmly. Do you want to throw water over Jane or what's your response? <laughs> If you can't think of anything clever, say something that someone else said that was clever. She wanted to be here, but as I say, it's the first baby that's crying, vomiting, lack of sleep. Um, and as I say, the baby's sick as well as all that. So, 